Hey guys and welcome to my Wayward Intermediate Tutorial. This tutorial is going to have a lot more complex concepts than my beginner tutorial. So if you have not watched the beginner tutorial, I highly recommend you do so first as it covers a lot of the basic tools, concepts, and things to do early on. Where this one's more of a um, tutorial for those who already know the basics as I will not be re-explaining them. Anyway, get started. I've outlined what we're going to talk about here. Um, however, I'm going to skip quickly to the second one, shelter placement, really quickly. So we're setting up a base in a certain area. What we're looking for, we're, so we're looking for an area with three things in particular. Stone, wood, sand, and sandstone. Sandstone being the least important. If you cannot find an area with sandstone, um, it's not the end of the world. However, um, it is very useful. The reason for this is with the sandstone you can make a tool known as the grindstone. It takes two sandstone and like it's seriously easy to get. So there you go, I just got one grindstone right there. So I recommend maybe getting two or so because unless you get a good one, let's see if we can get a good one here. Not always, no. Unless you can get a good one, they wear out quite quickly. However, I've got grindstones with up to, I think, 40 durability. So it's not too hard generally to get a good one. So the reason is two sandstone is one grindstone. Whereas a hammer is a string, a rock, and a pole. So the string and the pole are wood tools and it takes I think two wood to make a string if you're using the main way I make string. So you're using up vital resources to make a thing where you can make it so much easier. The benefit of the hammer though is it can be repaired and it's well that's really the only benefit actually is the hammer. It's twice the weight of grindstones so you can actually carry two grindstones for one hammer and the hammers actually aren't going to have too much more durability than the grindstones you get early on. However if you want to use the hammer be my guest. So other than that you might have explored your island quite a bit so what I recommend to do is if, if that is the case is find a tree and chop it down. What you're looking for is the wood logs. So you're going to want three I wonder if we can leave this tree and it'll go back. So there's bare trees and then there's regular trees. As you watch, if this tree has leaves, as we break on it, eventually the leaves will come off. Once the leaves are off, we can mine logs off it. Once you have three logs, just craft a wooden chest. Oh, we've also got ourselves into exhaustion. So anytime you're in exhaustion, rest with your sleeping bag. Do not sleep, but rest, and you will get a large amount of stamina back. So anyway, once you have your three logs, craft a wooden chest and place it. The advantage of wooden chests are this. Every time you drop an item, well, we, there's nothing on screen, but anytime you drop an item, it takes a turn. So if you drop 10 items on the ground and then you need to pick up those items to fight a monster or for any other reason, it will take you 10 turns to pick it up. Where if you're using a chest, it takes no turns. We can put all our items in this chest without any time passing at all. So, as so, oh, actually, like that. I might even need the string, keep the one string. But we can place all this stuff in and we've, no time has passed for us at all, so. Definitely really nice and needed, especially early on if you have a lot of weight because the next step is going to use a lot of work. So walls. Once you've chosen your location, you will have to pick what wall material you want. So wood walls are primarily the best because they require the least materials, they are the lightest, and thus the easiest to build. Um, the other benefit to wall is you will, as you try to collect your wood, you will get bark. We want bark tunic and bark leggings right, around, right away as we start early. So the wood method gives us that. It doesn't generally take too long to get the bark. However, if you're unlucky, it can take some time. 
We're also going to need string, which we are currently getting from bark, or from wood rather. So both advantages. Um, the advantage of sandstone walls is you're not cutting down all your wood and it's lighter than stone wall. The disadvantage of um, sandstone is you will get a lot of gravel. So you're going to have to pile gravel up in neat piles. All this to do is to give you an idea. So as we're mining, we're going to get a large amount of gravel. I'm actually getting really lucky here not getting that much gravel. So this gravel is useless. The only use it actually has is you can put out fires with it. So you're going to have to pile it up. As this piles up, it's going to make your map look cluttered and it's going to be kind of on the ground. If this doesn't bug you, then sandstone may be for you. We already got one flooring out of it. However, you will use up large amounts of sandstone. And I'm talking about a huge... This probably wouldn't be enough to build a good sized house out of. So it uses a lot of sandstone, but it is a lot better than stone. Stone is very heavy. So it's hard to um, make a house out of it efficiently. However, the one advantage of using this mm -hmm. method is you will get your mining skill up very high. This will help you a lot when you go mining underground as it will take less time to fight enemies or to, to mine you'll take less time to mine and thus you'll fight less enemies is what i meant to say so um though recommend wood walls so we're gonna get started i like to build good sized houses so they'll take me through the whole game um so the downside of that is if you're building a big house you might be attacked and killed before you complete your house that's the opportunity in one of my games i was building a really big house and it got into the night of the first day and an enemy spawned and killed me. Um, it was most my own fault. I could have made the house artificially smaller and built out because you can pick up your walls for free. But, I don't know, I, I felt invincible. So, that's one thing this game punishes you for not being prepared, which I really love. So, a lot of this... Let's just see how much bark we have. Because we will have probably enough to get started and we have two string. So right away we can make our bark armor. So that's step three we're already well into. Durability doesn't seem to be that important for tools because it seems to get, you seem to be able to get it back quite quickly. So I'm actually going to maybe get two wood off all logs. Stone axe in need of repair. We can actually hit three more times. Ooh, it's actually the durability didn't go down. So, I like to get my tools down a little bit before I repair them, just to get your most out of them. So, so we can put one wood wall down. As I get tired as well, we can just rest, get that back up, and build one wall. So I think we're going, uh, it's like five wide is usually what I go for. So let's just get our string here quickly. Oop, did I make something that I didn't want to? I'm not sure. I, oh no, I think I just made a string. How much string do I actually need for the bark leggings? No more string. Just need to actually successfully complete them, which I have. So that's our armor. So this is the ar all the armor you're going to be able to get from bark. But once we start getting more leather, um, we're going to get all these level items. The only thing I highly recommend with leather is get the pieces you can't get in bark. So for example, getting leather pants, it would be a huge waste because you're replacing your bark leggings so you're getting less defense. You're getting one more defense, but you could have used that two leather on a gorget and um, a belt, and you could have got an additional two defense without losing the one defense from your legging. So um, the belt, boots, gorget, and gloves are the most important early on. I do not recommend the leather hat because you can get a hat that's just as good. Um, if you watch my beginner tutorial, you sometimes spawn with it. 
so it is the skull cap. If you walk around your island, I am 100% sure you will find an animal skull, so. So that's what I recommend for armor, actually. Backpacks are just um, also leather. It's kind of up to you whether you want to get a backpack early or if you'd rather focus on armor. Um, I would say focusing on armor is more important. The backpack is kind of a luxury item. And sometimes even not getting the backpack and just using the quiver can be better because the quiver allows you to use a bow with and then have arrows in your quiver. You don't need to get the quiver, but it's kind of a kind of nice thing. You can put other things in the quiver, however it is designed to fit only arrows. So if we look at the quiver, it's weight 25, negative 25. We'll look at the backpack, weight 50, negative 25. However, I'm not sure if the backpack works as a quiver. I've never actually tried that. But just a note for you. So you could even call this sustainable um, farming in a way. Okay. But anyway, I think I'll maybe cut this out because you guys don't need to see me um, totally build the house. But just working on getting one wood from all of them. I'll build the walls. Build. And then when we're doing the flowing, we'll come back. One second, guys. Hey guys, and welcome back to Wayward. So we're pretty much done. However, I wanted to get you advised of a couple things I did move in the meantime. You're probably going to have to build yourself a stone water still because you're going to run out of water. Uh, I've probably used three water. Plus, you probably want to sleep the night in here. So... They're probably going to definitely need water. Um, other than that, um, I always recommend, I, don't, I didn't really explain this that well the last time, but I always recommend filling your still back up every time you use it because it takes time to um, boil the water. So every time you do, um, take out your stuff. I think I still have kindling. No. Oh, it might be us in this one. I swear I had some. I swear I had kindling and... But whatever. Okay. So I just make it three at a time usually. So, which is six twigs. And three bark. Get you three kindling and three tinder. I'm just using the fire plow here because it was easier. The f I believe the fire bow is better than the fire plow, but either way, put your water in. Start your fire. Oh, okay, I, I started my fire first try. Actually, just for A's. I might even just put it right there for the moment. Okay, so once you have that, the other thing I did is I ate a couple berries and I got quite a few berry bushes. There's actually a pineapple as well. Every time you eat berries, um, you have a chance to get a bush from them. Bushes are really good because they give you, not only will you, they give you um, the berries, they'll also give you um, the roots, the plant roots, which you want to use for medical ingredients because it's the only way to cure poison. So you just use any type of water and um, the medicinal you need two. Also, if you get more trees, I definitely recommend planting them. As close to your base generally is better. So, there's that. You can see how many things I got here. It's just, just a massive amount of stuff. Also a tip, just for you guys, you can actually, oops, you can actually eat this grass seed. It will make you thirsty, however, once later on, water will be almost infinite. Also, another good tip for you is you can actually cook foods on the um, the lit stills as well. So, just as a little tip for you guys. And it's got it's actually not that full now, but it did get to a point where it was so full that it. Um, 
I had to build a second one here, or use a second one rather. Also, I got a strong knife. It was actually up to 40 before I had repaired it. Um, this axe is 90. It all depends on the materials you use in crafting. Even this grindstone, 28. And that's what I was talking about, just keep making grindstones. Okay, so we have wrap. This will give us very important leather. So we just clock that wrap, because you'll get a lot of base attack from mining in this. So, um, the leather is really important. And actually, one thing I like about leather is you can carry water on you, plus um, fill, still fill it up. So, but anyway, that's not really what we're going for. So what I've been doing is I mine out stone until I can't... Oh, shoot, I broke my stone axe. I'm bad at that. I want to get the most out of it, and then I ended up just... Then I end up breaking it half the time. However, since I was just doing... Oh, actually, I think I have exceptional string I was saving for just this occasion so like i was saying the better materials you use the better action makes so since we have exceptional string here um, we don't really have anything special for rocks but the axe results will be um pretty good so it's it's 136 i don't think you can ever get anything that's legendary is that grass yeah it is so but anyway so what we need to do here is we need to turn all these rocks into stone. And then all this stone, that'll make it into little stones and we'll turn it into cobblestone. This will really bump up your stone crafting, so I don't know if it's the greatest thing to do, because enemies, again, spawn based on your skills, but it'll save you a lot of time, because otherwise your mining skill will go up really high. The thing, you could, fi you could finish it off with sandstone floors, but I like my floors to be uniform. Anyway, what I was saying is, you need to put stone underneath your floors. I'll show you what it looks like if you don't here. Actually, I think I have one too many walls. So if, if you don't, um, you connect it here. You can see there's a gap there between this one. So you will have to remove that gap afterwards. The reason I have one too many is I forgot we're going to put a door on the other side. I like having doors on both sides. And the reason I'm mining deep like this is you might be able to find um, minerals and stuff that you didn't before find, so. It takes a lot of stone, so your mining skill will go up. You can discover cave entrances through mining, so. Oops. You can actually mine like this and get as much as you want. So. This shows you a lot of things. Furnace and forge, both just are just stone recipes. But you guys probably can figure that out. It's just in there but um, a lot of that stuff will be in future tutorials and then we get our flooring and um, one other thing I want to show you is if you you can put two floors on top of each other there was one floor there's another one if you need to dig it up you can use your shovel and you can dig up the floors so we need just one more I say we need one more stone I think and then we're done there we go. So put in the main of your walls. If you put it on the hotkeys up here, then you can save yourself in clicks. Or do I need, or do I have exactly enough? Oh, I might ask me both these. No, I see I had the perfect amount. So then I need three more. Whatever. Let's grab those trees. Craft the door and you're done. Your house is complete. So. I can make it a little bit longer, but it's just, at some point you don't need it much longer. So, the thing I recommend doing is pulling your chest in. I have one extra log. So this is can be kind of difficult to do. What I actually recommend doing is making a chest first. So I'm actually gonna go over here for this. Chopped on one, because if you make a chest, you can put all your stuff in it. And it's so much easier to transfer, especially if you have high strength. I have ridiculously high strength because I've just been um, plowing at this stuff for an hour. So, so decide which side you're going to want to put your chests on. Because you don't want to be picking all this stuff up again because it's such a pain. A couple of things I would mention though, is all your bones, making the bone poles, 
make them into sharpened bones, make them into bone needles. The reason this is important, and I'll actually quickly go on a divergence here. I always get such good bone needles. But anyway, the, there's um, three, two things that heal you. Um, there's tourniquets. Tourniquets use a lot of string. That's what balances them. And then there's also... Um, if I pick up a string... Can everyone ever Suture, I think they're called? Yeah. Sutures will also heal you. Both will stop bleeding, I believe. So... But it consumes the needle. It doesn't... As it says consumed, other things, if we look at leather... It just uses the needle. It actually doesn't even tell you it uses a needle, but it does use a needle. So, couple things. So yeah. So now that we, once we dump all our stuff, and I just mean all your stuff, dump absolutely everything in here. So when you go to pick up your containers, you can just hit the grab all, and now you can just transfer it. I don't think I have enough to carry the chest as well, which would actually be quite good. So, oh, I'm so close. So I can just put a little bit back into this chest and it will be good. See, you can move your chest. Most people can't do this and you might not if you don't have this hive strength. But what you do is you just um, put it in a second chest like I did and you kind of transfer it in chunks like that. And then you have your chests in your house. So I built this house so it's enough to fit four chests. Um, really, if you're managing your very properly, you shouldn't need more than four chests. If you look, I just have a stupid amount of wooden stuff. Um, because it's all the trees I was chopping down. Which is actually going to help me later because I wouldn't need to chop down trees as much unless I just need um, actual logs. So, which could be a downside to not chopping these trees down now. Which, oops. Which I may actually regret. Also, I built a sundial. Sundials are nice nice at night. Because you can tell what quarter of the night you're in. So you know if you need to go out and get more water or anything as well. So. That's a really nice thing. So. Oops. <laughs> Could have just hit grab all. Collect the item. Drop it out. And then you should be good. So now, the nice thing is. Since we put all our stuff in the, that bottom chest, we can just pull out all the stuff we want. So now that we have three chests, one thing I recommend doing is doing putting all your food into one chest. The big thing about that is you can see when stuff will decay. So, there's one other thing I want to show you. So this meat's about to decay. A great way to um, keep that meat good is to... turn it into pemmican. So we're going to need to pull this out. And we can even probably just drink this water. Like we could turn this leather into a water skin and that might actually be something we'd want to do right away here. But, oops, I meant to drink it and then fill it up. The more stuff you can put on your hot bar, it's just easier for you in general, but... It's like, oh, piled ash. What did I burn and I got a pile of ash? That's actually really good. Ash is great because it will give you, um, char... Does it give you? Well, it gives you charcoal dust. Anyway, that's for another kind of moment. But, jump this in. Then you can make your fire again. Ooh, my fire plow is actually getting beat up. I didn't bring my... So let's just grab all our crap then at the moment. I don't think I need all these sharp stones. I will carry the needle. Needles are super light. They're worth carrying. Okay. Repair. You can even hit five to repair. You just want to left click and hit five. Is the fire going? Okay. So now the fire is made. We can make pemmican. So we have these two things. You need any two pieces of meat. So awful counts as meat. You turn it into pemmican. So now when I first started, I thought this pemmican would be great to turn, to just keep because it has no decay. But what happened to me is that my fat all decayed. So what's the use of the pemmican if you don't have fat to turn into? And it's usually one to one. So I just recommend making um, your 
pemmican right away. It's pretty long. It's not as long as some fruits, um, but it's quite long. We're actually running out of food. I don't generally recommend eating tree fungus. I don't know if I ever have. I think it can poison you though. Yeah, it makes you thirsty, so it's not the best thing, but the thing is later on you'll have infinite water, so... It lasts a long time though, but... I'm not sure if he can poison you or not, but... So we'll put... Um, I'll just put all this in here. So do we want to make a water skin? Nah, leave it in there for now. You actually, our glass bottles, the durability is really dropping. So you really have to keep an eye on this because if you run out of that, you could just, um, well, you could get thirsty and die, really. So, get the grass and the branch. And I think it's just two strings and a tan leather. Oh, plus you need the needle. So, okay, two string, another two branches. Leaves like just take up so much space. You can even just make a pile of leaves. You'll probably never really honestly use the leaves. So you could just make a pile of them somewhere. What they're actually used for is leaf bedrolls. But if you ever completely use up your leaf bedroll, but I don't know if you ever would. Possibly, I guess. So, um, oh, and we need one bark. If you don't know how to tan leather, you take a bark in a mortal and pestle. Which I have a really crappy shape one here. And then... <laughs> Man, I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Okay, we almost lost our tan leather, which means we're gonna get a really. Oh no, we didn't get. Yeah, we got a really in poor shape water skin, but we can repair it. So we'll definitely do that if it gets through that point. So. I think the fire is still going. But anyway, now we have two things, vessels to hold water. And we could actually use these um, in a different thing as an ingredient later. So we have covered, I think, pretty much everything. Chests, shelter placement, armor, backpack. I did cover backpack just briefly. Um, pretty much just, it's a chest that you carry on your back and it has 25% weight reduction. So you can carry stuff in there on your back and has less weight honestly it's kind of cumbersome and you have to manually drag stuff into it so i'm not a big fan of it but if it is if you want to carry more material a long way especially if you're spelunking it could be a really nice thing the only thing to know would be whether um you can use a leather quiver as instead of the backpack I'm not ex exactly sure about that but and then traps, I guess, would be the only thing we didn't discuss. So there's a couple traps in the game. There's the deadfall trap and the snare trap. So, um, so it's a stick. I think. I guess we can just leave it up here. One string and two poles. So it's before sticks, and this one's three poles. So they're quite stick heavy or branch heavy rather. And I didn't think it's just one big rock. Do I have a big rock in here? Oh, I do. So. And. Because I forgot. And it just rest poles. So, my opinion of traps. I've never caught anything in a trap. In the entire time I played the game. But, we'll do a test and I'll continue to see if I get a trap, and if I ever catch something in a trap, I'll make an annotation. That's actually a really bad place, because I think you can step in your own traps, but I'll just have to be careful not to. So anyway, like I said, traps, not sure if they do anything. I've never caught anything. So what I'm saying is I wouldn't focus heavily into them, because they're not particularly effective. If I ever catch anything, I'll let you guys know and update the video. But at this point, traps, question mark, possibly not good. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this intermediate tutorial and we'll be back for more tutorials in the next one. Thanks guys. Later. Thanks for checking out my intermediate tutorial. Hope it taught you a couple things. 
And if you still want to see my wayward, um, take a look at my advanced tutorial. And if you want to see other tutorials I've done, click the other annotation. Thanks guys. <laughs>